Welcome to Hawkeye Tennis, where we review the big issues around the game. My name's Clint. Thanks for joining us. On this week's update, we'll be looking at the completed Montreal Masters 1000 tournament and its impact on the rankings and the race to Turin. Plus, we'll be looking at the draw for the upcoming Cincinnati Masters 1000. Let's get into it. Yes, this week on tour we had our six Masters 1000 tournament of the season completed in Montreal, Canada, and what a week of upsets it was. Pablo Carreño Busta was the man that made his way through the draw, taking out Hercatch and winning the biggest title of his career. Montreal with his seventh career title and first Masters 1000 level win. Taking a look at the all-time Masters 1000 winners list, and there's some great names of tennis there. We'll see if Pablo can take this momentum and win a few more before his career's done. Daniil Medvedev dropped a massive 990 points in the rankings this week. He was the defending champion in Canada, but didn't defend his massive points haul from last year because he went out in his first match against an on-fire Nick Kyrgios. Medvedev's got a ton of points to defend for the rest of the season, and if he doesn't hit back hard in Cincinnati this coming week, and at the US Open later this month, he could find himself losing his number one ranking in the coming weeks. He's defending 360 points in Cincinnati, and he's defending all 2,000 points at the US Open as a defending champion, so it won't be easy. On the other hand, Nadal has nothing to defend for the rest of the season, and barring injury, he'll be a big challenger for both Cincinnati and the US Open titles where he should pick up some big points. If Rafa reaches the quarterfinals or better in Cincinnati, he'll take the number two ranking off Sverev, who's out injured and therefore won't be able to defend his thousand points he earned by winning there last year. Tsitsipas also suffered a surprise loss in his first match in Montreal and paid the price in the rankings, falling two spots to number seven. Kaspar Ruud was the big mover in the top 10 though, rising up two spots to number 5, overtaking Djokovic and Tsitsipas thanks to his semi-final run in Canada. And our newly crowned Masters 1000 champion rose 9 spots off the back of his big win, surging to number 14 in the world. Medvedev's now spent 13 weeks at number 1 in the world, moving up to 17th on the all-time list alongside American Andy Roddick. He'll hold the number 1 spot until the US Open, but after that it'll all depend on his results. Let's look at the updated race to Turin after one of the big tournaments on the calendar. Nadal still out on top. He's back in action this week in Cincinnati. FAA moves up to number seven, swapping places with Andre Rublev after his quarterfinal run in his hometown tournament. Hercatch's appearance in the final in Montreal has propelled him into the top 10, coming in at number nine, and Taylor Fritz drops down to 10. Let's turn our focus to the week to come and we have another Masters 1000 tournament this time in Cincinnati in the United States. Let's take a look at the seeds. We've got top 10 players Medvedev, Nadal, Alcaraz, Tsitsipas, Rude, Rublev, Orge Eliassime and Hercatch. The only two players missing from our top 10 are Djokovic, he can't enter the United States because of his vaccination status, and Zverev, still out with that ankle injury. Let's break down the draw now, and section one of the draw belongs to Medvedev. He's joined in that section by fellow seeds Grigor Dimitrov, Taylor Fritz, and Andrei Rublev. Section two is the quarter of the draw that contains Tsitsipas, and he is joined there by Schwartzman, Berrettini, and Herkac as the other seeded players. Section three is Alcaraz's section. He's joined by fifth seed Kaspar Ruud, ninth seed Cam Norrie, and 14th seed Marin Cilic. Also in this section, we've got a classic throwback match between legends Stan Wawrinka and Andy Murray in the round of 64. Section four is Rafa's quarter, the legend returns. And there's quite a bit of talent packed into this section. Rafa's joined by fellow seeds FAA, Sinner, and Bautista Agut, as well as Atlanta champion Alex Dimonor, Montreal champion Pablo Carreño Busta, Bostad champion Francisco Serundolo, and Hamburg champion Lorenzo Mossetti. That is stacked. Now, let's go through the potential pathway to the title for each of our top four seeds. Of course, each of them get a buy in the round of 64, and we'll have a look at Medvedev first, our number one seed. So in the round of 32, he could potentially match up with van der Zanschulp or Cressy, Shapovalov or Dimitrov in the round of 16, Kyrgios or Rublev in the quarterfinal, Tsitsipas or Hercatch in the semifinal, and Nadal or Alcaraz in the final. 
Nadal with a fairly tough draw on his return. He's looking at Mossetti in the round of 32, Baltista Agud in the round of 16, Orge Aliassime or Karenja Busta in the quarterfinals. And remember, if he reaches that stage, he's guaranteed to be world number two after this tournament. Alcaraz in the semi and Medvedev in the final. Alcaraz looking down the barrel of a very tough run. He'll have potentially Bashalashvili in the round of 32, Chilich in the round of 16, Root in the quarterfinal, Nadal in the semi, and Medvedev in the final. And Tsitsipas looking at Evans or Krajanovic in the round of 32, Schwartzman in the round of 16, Herkac or Berrettini in the quarterfinal, Medvedev in the semi, and Nadal or Alcaraz in the final. And that's us updated for the week. If you enjoyed the content, please like the video, share it, leave your comments down below, and consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us out greatly and is much appreciated. See you next week.